Element number nine, fluorine. Fluorine was finally isolated in 1886 by French chemist Henri Moisson after nearly a century of failed and often deadly attempts by other scientists. Fluorine's extreme reactivity made it notoriously difficult to contain, reacting violently with glass, metals and even water. When Moisson succeeded in isolating it using an electric current through hydrogen fluoride, he won the very first Nobel Prize in chemistry. Before fluorine was isolated, fluorine-containing minerals like fluorite were used for centuries as fluxes in metalworking. But once the element itself became available, its chemistry exploded. In the 20th century, fluorine became crucial for producing uranium hexafluoride used in nuclear fuel processing, as well as the creation of Teflon, the slippery non-stick polymer accidentally discovered by DuPont chemists. Fluorine compounds also transformed refrigeration, plastics, pharmaceuticals, and high-temperature industrial materials. Today, fluorine is used in toothpaste to strengthen enamel, in pharmaceuticals to boost stability, and in Teflon coatings that resist heat and friction. Hydrofluoric acid is used to etch glass and carve microchips. Fluorine is the most reactive element on the periodic table, capable of igniting materials like sand, asbestos, and even water. And here's a wild fact. Pure fluorine gas glows a bright, eerie yellow-green, making it as visually striking as it is chemically dangerous. If you like this video and want to see more, click the link below. Thanks for watching your daily dose of science. If you learn something new, tap like and share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing science facts every day.